This episode is brought to you by Tropical Dino Crunch. Tropical Dino Crunch includes 100 essential vitamins and minerals. 100. Nothing contains 100 vitamins and minerals except Tropical Dino Crunch. Tropical Dino Crunch, now with more green ones. One, two, Alex is coming for you. It's me. I'm Alex. I'm coming for ya. I'm gonna get ya. Hey, lady. At the time, at the moment, um, Tropical Dino Crunch just contain contains the, uh, regulation more green ones. They started off with like a, a set amount of green ones and then they added more and that's where we are still at. I was hoping that we would get the chocolate version of Tropical Dino Crunch. I can't even remember the name of it. It was like Chocolatey Dino Crunch, maybe? I don't know. We gave up on it. Too many people lost their lives, and it wasn't worth it. You do it all right this evening, Liddy. Are you doing all right this evening? Um, What's your name? Seymour? Yep. Good. Did you forget Seymour's name? No. I was just stalling for time. Oh, well, that's good. Liddy says that he is doing well. Cool. Yeah. Indeed. What's up, Travis? You doing good? I hope I didn't freak anybody out there named Tra Travis. If you're, well, you don't have to say, it, but I hope I didn't freak out any Travises out there. That would, I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should do that like once a show. Just be like, "What's up, Adam?" Or, you know, some name like that. Did I freak you out? Oops. <laughs> this show is dedicated to you, Philip. Could have done it without you. I mean, especially if I go for it from a list of like the most names. I didn't think it was. You never struck me as a Travis. How did I freak you out? What's up, Jordan? There we go. What's up, Aiden? Tell tell your mother I said hello, Jaden. I would have to... I, I think in order for that to be effective, I would have to do a better job of like having new people here for every show. Because I'm, I'm very thankful for you know those of you who come back. You know you see an episode and you're like, I'm still gonna come back and see another. You know. But so the whole joke about saying a name might not be as effect as effective. That would be hilarious. I've seen you around, Liddy. I've seen you. Of course, Liddy was the winner of the Become a Moderator on the It's Me, I'm Alex Twitch show contest two weeks ago.
you know you wouldn't want to be a Cassandra or Chelsea. I don't think I've ever known a, a person named Cassandra in real life. You wanna be It's Me, I'm Alex Mod? It's done. Check it out. There's now a sword next to your name. Like a new, like, mod my It's Me, I'm Alex? Like we're like people trick out the show. Uh, we could get like hire a team of those scammy overlay people and they can like trick out people's twitch shows. Be like alright so what we've added here are, are it's like a what we like to call the blue wave. And what it is is like a futuristic blue sparkle well, it's like blue sparkles on a starry background with like... Oh, okay. What, what would they have to do? I mean, of course we do know that every moderator here at It's Me, I'm Alex had to go through the obstacle course. You gonna start calling me Bug? You should start calling me Bug. That'd be kind of I'd feel endeared. Will you? Will you please start calling me Bug? I could come up with some stuff. Not, I don't want everyone to call me Bug, just Chelsea. Hey, what's up, Poogies? Oh, thank you, Poogies. That sounds like a great deal. I'm glad that you enjoyed game just chatting. And I am totally in the market for some overlays. I mean... You know, look at this. This is a game I want to play later, but uh... You know, I think we could use a little bit more flash here. You know, like... Explosions. I don't know, everyone always says, oh, you, to make it better, get explosions. You know what? No explosions. What's the opposite of an explosion? An implosion? I want implosions. I want the the biggest implosions. Hell yeah. Poogies, you're hired. Two explosions? I don't know. I do like the show some restraint. It's good to see everyone tonight. And um, as you can see the phone number is down there. The phone lines aren't live, but you guys are welcome to call that number anytime and leave a message. And I'll play it on the show. That number is 803-816-ALEX. It's a f that's what you're supposed to do, right? To like light it up is that you light like a tiny little campfire. Thanks, Poogies. I hope you're having a good week. But yeah, we put a tiny little campfire in the pumpkin. It's, it's festive. I guess I'm gonna try to, in the meantime, 
and play this Nightmare on Elm Street game. But we can still like chat and hang out and stuff. I don't think you'll be interrupting me if you have something to say. Not with this game, anyhow. Uh-oh. Ooh, I hope Freddy Claus comes to see me, too. They say when you play LJN's A Nightmare on Elm Street, on an internet video he'll like show up and do wacky shenanigans it is Halloween and this is a internet show <laughs> I'm just kidding that's just the title screen of the game I, I apologize if I frightened anyone He does. Of course, this is uh, a version of Freddy in the Freddy verse where his claws were um, grafted upon his fingers. So uh, it actually ma made for a, you know, it claws grafted onto his fingers. Oh yeah, you could have up to four players in this game. I think I'll be playing it alone. You wanna play? Nope. No, didn't think so. What about you, Leonard? You wanna play? Oh no, I'm way too scared to play. Yeah, you might want to avert your eyes. There's snakes. Oh gosh. Yep. Sure, Liddy. If you'll just, uh, show up here. Um, there's a bucket under that window right there. If you want to come play. Yeah, just climb in through the window. We'll wait. Uh, I think you made Daisy part. Come on, Daisy. Alright. I'll wait for Daisy to come out because I need her to protect us anyhow. Hey, Daisy. Hell yeah. Be careful, Liddy, because... Oh, what happened? Are you not... Are you not going to be able to make it? Aw, oh, damn it. Alright. Well, you're welcome too, Chelsea, if you'd like to come. The window's always open. You can come through that one. Or, uh... Or you can come through Grace's window. Grace, if Chelsea so shows up, will you let her in? Yep. Cool. Hell yes. Alright. Anybody else who wants to show up, it's open season. Just come in through the window. You're here? You mean you're like already here? Like in the house? Whoa. Yeah. Oh. My. God. Wait a minute. Holy crap. No. No. Chelsea. Are you? The skeleton? Oh my god. This whole time. This whole time. Did you know that? Yep. Did you? Everyone knows that Chelsea's a skeleton. She's been here forever the blob 
Hold on. Are you talking about the biscuit? Are you telling me you're the... You're not... You're not the biscuit, are you? Chelsea. Please tell me you're not my biscuit. Oh. Then what is the blob next to Travis? I see some flowers. Are you talking about the flowers? Those are flowers. That's not a blob. Those are beautiful, beautiful flowers. Um, thank you, Chelsea. And I'll be a bug. Bzzz. Okay. I think if I was a bug, I wouldn't be a buzzy bug. I like this music. Can this be the background music for the show? Like, I just want to keep, like, talking over it and, like, hello. Welcome to It's Me, I'm Alex. I'm your host, Alex. Today, murder on the seven seas. A man and his pirates were driving their boat along the ocean <laughs> when they came across an island. Ahoy, Captain, said one of the guys. And so they docked the boat, got off onto the island, and there was a house. What kind of house? Well, it looked to be like a 1950s model, like one of those made to order Sears jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like you ordered it from a catalog from Sears? Yeah. And it was just in the middle of this island. And it was the year 1732. So these guys, they didn't know what to make of it. They went inside. There was all these modern at the time of the 1950s um, appliances. They even had electricity. And um, the pantries were stocked. There was even a basement. There must have been enough food to last everybody 10 years. So, they were like, yeah, this is good. We'll just stay here. Search the island for gold. Well, hey, what's up, secret reagent? Well, first night came. And, mind you, this house had, like, five bedrooms. And each bedroom had three beds. <laughs> kind of looked like one of my games of The Sims. But that's how it was. So that first night they all went to bed in their silk pajamas because there were 15 sets of silk pajamas. That first night they heard a bunch of weird noises and a loud knock at the door. They uh, all got up together, went to the front door. Something funny, said one of the guys. Yet, <laughs> no, I won't. So they went to the front door in their silk pajamas 
Damn it. Open the door. There was a great beast with a thousand teeth and a hundred eyes covered in slimy worms. One by one, the beast ate the men. And they all died. A tsunami came, destroyed the house, washed away all the gold. Nobody was ever heard from again. The end. Go punch some snakes. Jerk. Oh shit, what does that mean? I think I do know that you have to, like, get Freddy's bones, so... That's a pretty scary spider. get behind there. These darn stairs are in the way. Oh, I can go on the platform. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Oh, wait. What did that do? Oh, I fell asleep. Look at it. It's kind of cute. It's like a Freddy spider. I'm gonna pet it with my fist. Come here. Oh, you're gonna respawn, are you? That's cool. Cool. Yeah. Come, come get some. Oh, you. Oh, y'all are just gonna keep respawning back and forth. Make it hard to... Okay, I see this game. Is it gonna show the part where the dog pisses on the bones to bring Freddy back to life? I feel like this is trying to trick me. And for you, you for those Why is it the melody is kind of off? It's trying to get all fancy with the melody. It's not. Sung in units and they, the girls didn't harmonize when they sung the song. Hey, what's up, Ace Gaming? It is. It is you too. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
hope it's getting better for you. Oh man, that sounds like such a hassle. I'm doing a good job not dying yet here by Freddy. Never mind. Do the old punch him in the legs thing from Nightmare 5. I'm immortal! Dang it. I don't think I'm powerful enough. I'm dead. Just... <laughs> Do we get to... Just sit here and watch Freddy? Is he gonna get bored? Oh. That'd be kinda cool, you know, after you die you get to see what happens and Freddy just like stands around like Ugh. I'm so bored. I'm also making go to sleep. Like I bet he does get pretty bored during the daytime. Bunch of, you know, lazy people catching cat naps. Nighttime's where the real gold is. Oh, thanks, Chelsea. I was gonna. Do the whole bitch thing. You know, because, like, oh, when you're doing a Freddy impression, you have to be like, oh, bitch. But I thought that I would, like, you know, take it in a different direction and not say bitch. Because sometimes Freddy didn't say bitch. Little known fact. I'm gonna make a shirt that says that. Get the word out. Yep. From the hit comedy Rick and Mortis. I need to play Faith. Scary Terry from Rick and Morty. Hey, thanks for following Ace Gaming. Hey, what's up, Henrio? Oh, you got scratches from a cat named Marshmallow? That's pretty awesome. Please, please do send my scritches. Yeah, it's all about those overlays. Aw, oh, thank you. Thanks for passing along my scritches. I send my scritches to any other cats out there. And dogs. We here at It's Me, I'm Alex send our scritches to both cats and dogs. That's right. And birds. 
some of our viewers have birds, and we, but you can't really scratch a bird. Like birds do not like it when you try to scratch behind their ears. Not one bit. Um, guinea pigs. Chelsea, you have a guinea pig, right? Does your guinea pig take scratches? Oh crap. Awesome. Well, I send my scratches to your guinea pig. Hey, what happened? Now I'm going to fight the spider Freddies. Oh, did it kick in? Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, I thought you were talking about yourself. I was like, alright. Well, you're in for a heck of a ride. But you meant like what happened in the game. Yeah, they're not too nice, Ace. to get those bones. Yeah, sometimes Freddy doesn't understand boundaries. See, he just respawned. And he respawned upstairs. How annoying. That's a real ass spooky ghost. Holy crap, screw Freddy. That was like an actual ghost. Oh, I hope you didn't hear me say that. Ah oh, shit, Freddy's trademark patent pending. Oh, it was. Oh, okay. I really need to come to this fight with more than my fist. I mean, he can do anything. Why doesn't he just fly up to the ceiling and fill the room up with lava? Bam. He'd make a way better Freddy than him. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You know... Between you and me... I think the, the angry video game nerd James Roth was right when he said that this game 
sucks a buffalo's butthole or whatever. I think he was right. So. I think I still want to keep this as the background music of the show. I'm rocking out. Alright. Let's see. I guess I could do something else, huh? Let's see what's next. Yo, it's me, I'm Alex, 2019, come and get it. Alright, hold on, moving on to the, to the next thing. Bullwinkle from Rocky and Bullwinkle? I think so. He's that guy from Full House who's like a comedian. And um What if Bullwinkle called me? What? That would blow my mind. Like if he called and left me a message? What? I don't know what I would do. Two thousand nine. All right, I'm sorry. I'm really trying to move on to the next thing. That's going slow. Hell yeah. This sounds pretty scary. It's a rainy night in Kansas. Mr. and Mrs. Clown and their two children, Kid and Baby. Is this like a prequel to Bird Box? Are traveling to the next town to perform in the big circus show. Oh no, suddenly, with a flash of lightning, the evil magician Nightmare. Oh, I get it. Nightmare. Ah, huh. it did fit the theme. Wow. Evilly twisting his mustache, he hisses. Kid, I need your help to open a treasure vault. If you'll help me, you'll be well rewarded. Ha ha ha. Kid Clown's parents had warned him about the Nightmare's evil ways. Hell yeah, Henri, I'll check it out in a, in a sec. No way, pal. I know your tricks and I'm not going to get away with it. Very well said, the, the Nightmare. If you ever want to see your family again, You'll find me. Uh-oh. I guess now I have to platform on an island? Alright, well... Hold on. I think I have a message here. Is there a timer? No, we can sit here for a second while I pull up the message. Apparently, I have a message from Bullwinkle. Oh, heck yeah. Hold on.
Oh, I want to pause it, but it's... hold on. Trying to find a way to where it, uh... Stop with the sound. It really won't let me... Is it gonna make me cut off the whole sound? Alright, fine. Hey, Alex, it's Bullwinkle J. Moose. How are you tonight? I'm going to try and do a magic trick. Roll up my sleeve. Uh -oh. I found a Seymour in my hat. Uh-oh. I will talk at you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. He had a Seymour in his hat. Neat. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for making that happen, on Rio san That was cool. Bullwinkle himself. Ah! Amazing. And he did a magic trick. Pulled a U out of his hat. Cool. Yeah. Oh, did you miss it? Are you talking about the voicemail? Alright. I'm not emotionally invested in this kid clown. So... It kind of is uh, making me uncomfortable. He has to go. I admit when I had my made a mistake and that that was a mistake. How's it going, y'all? What is up? Welcome to it's me, I'm Alex. Um got any questions? Or uh, you have some answers, just let me know in the chat. I won't bite. We can chat about stuff, hang out, you know, while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Well, happy weekend to you too. It's about to snow. Is it already snowing time? We hardly ever get snow here in Georgia. I like the snow a whole bunch, but it rares. It snows so rarely that I like it. Like when it snows, I like to go out and put my face in it. Not like in the ground, but like in, you know, in the air, like towards the sky. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm doing a game of Hollywood Squares. It's right in, it's right near the thing. So, I, I, I just have to. Like it's tried and true. So. Oh yeah, I forget which one of these people I am. I think I'm Sunglass Guy. There's not a whole lot of choices. That host guy's got a pretty smug look on his face. Oh, it's me against Mary. Well. Hope she brought her trivia juice. Ah, oh, which celebrity? We have Mike here. Mike. May. Eddie. Beth. Where's Gilbert Gottfried? 
Uh, Pam. Hi, Pam. Dean, Val, and Rob. Good old Daz. Hey, Daz. Well, if I'm playing tic-tac-toe, and I consider myself pretty good at tic-tac-toe, if I'm going first, I'm going to go for one of the corners. And it's, it's probably statistically, it's going to be this one, this one, or this one. I usually almost never start with top right. That's what we in competitive uh, tic-tac-toe call the top right thing, or it's abbreviated sometimes a TR. So like when you're like notating the moves, you're like, you know, TR, which is the top right uh, square. But I think I'm going to go for um, for the the BL, which is the bottom left, and Dean. But it's not a guarantee because I also have to get the trivia question. Most often when the stomach growls, what does it mean? You're hungry. Dean says it's mad. Funny joke. Dean says you're hungry. I agree. Who the hell doesn't know what your stomach growling means? You'd have to like not be a human. Like maybe if you were like an alien studying humans, you wouldn't know that. The word aloha has, has four separate meanings. Greetings, welcome, farewell, and probably goodbye, right? Or good afternoon. Return soon. That sounds kind of right. It wasn't right. It means love. Alright. Well, this could get me the game right here. You're depressed. Statistically, are you likely to be a man or a woman? Well, I'm going to say... Eddie says a man. Rio says a man. I agree. But we were all wrong. Circle takes the square. Now this was 1988, so statistically in 1988 it might have been different. Or... If you lose weight too fast, what's likely to happen to your hair? What do you th it's gonna grow back and... Mike thinks it will curl and Mary agrees. No, that was stupid. Dumb. Yeah. What? Here we go. I'm going with Rob Lowe. In my head cannon, that's Rob Lowe. What did British miners take canaries with them into... Why did they take canaries with them into the coal mine? To, to see if they would die. So you would know if you could go in there. First snacks. Okay, that's pretty good. To determine the presence of gas. I agree. Bam. Hell yeah. I won. Do, do, do. Alright, Mary. Oh, there's a secret square. Hell yeah. And she found it fixed. Shit's fixed. A week on the island of Martinique. What is known as the City of British Lights? Bangor. Chernobyl. People died, Daz. People died. Oh, good for her. Yeah, she's gonna have to pay taxes on that trip. I'm going with Rob again. 
What was first made in Egypt over 3,000 years ago by mixing fruits with nuts and honey? Um, honey bunches of oats. Candy? Sorry, Rob. Oh, I should have. I knew Rob was right. Oh, crap. She's gonna get me. I would say in color. Ha ha. See? Let's do it, Dean. President John Adams and his wife Abigail did it longer than any pres other presidential couple. What was it? Oh dear. Ha ha. Stayed married. Like, what else would it be? Raised goats? Like, literally, what else could it be? This game thinks I'm a fool. What is the term used when investors are so anxious to buy stocks they will buy just about anything? Lunacy. Haha. Uh -huh. It might be. Her name is Pam also. Wow. It probably is Pam Anderson. Well, here's May. Who's a good spot for me? I guess right here, just to block, block her from getting those three. A parakeet's foot has two toes point pointing forward and two facing backward. What main purpose does this serve? I don't know where the, everyone's a comic, huh? Makes grouping and climbing easier. Duh. What else would they do with their little parakeet feet? This is gonna be a stalemate. If your jaws hurt when you wake up, what does it usually indicate? Oh god, what are they gonna say? This is a family show. Dreaming cat, going to the dentist sucks. Oh man, it's not going to be a stalemate. Damn. X takes the square. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, when is the best time of day to spray household insects? After the 11 o'clock news when they are really depressed. Ha. Huh? In the morning. I disagree. Ha! Bam! X takes the square. X takes the square. X takes the square. Aw oh, man, she doesn't have anything. When Muhammad Ali fought the classic thriller in Manila, who was his opponent? opponent? I don't know, was that Joe Frazier? Ah, uh, that's a president. Was it George? It was Joe Frazier. Damn. It was Joe Frazier. Did I say Joe Frazier? Ninety-eight percent of them are grown in California. The four main ones are named Mission Savlanalo, Escalnalo, Escalon, Escalnalo, and Men's. Why are they doing this to me? What are they? Ricardo Mon. Ripe olives? 
Yeah. Bam. I may not can say them, but I'll eat them. I like olives. Mostly green olives, but I've been known to eat a purple or black olive. As long as they're seedless. According to the vice president of men's design for polo, Ralph Lauren, what sells men's sweaters if they've got like reindeer on them? The style? It's the color of the sweater. Damn. Come on, Rob, let's do it. No, because like, I can win right here. According to hints from Heloise, is it ever a good idea to pour cola on the battery of your Rolls Royce? I think it is. Why, they spelled vintage wrong. Yes. They spelled vintage with like a G in the middle of it. Is it too late to get a refund on this game? I get a car? Cool. Yeah. Wait, there's a 1 in 5 chance I get the car? Really? I mean, okay, but that's like, I don't like those odds. Where's the DeLorean? I feel like I'm not really getting a choice here. Wait, that one's different. Okay. I'll, just, I'll take that one. Uh-oh. Gotta put it in the slot. Turn in the key. Come on. No shit. No shit. I won it. I beat the odds. Holy crap. See, see y'all suckers later. I'm hitting the road. You don't have a license. So? I can park it like in front of the house and sit in it. Like talk to people. People can come hang out with me and sit in the car. What puggies? Do a little yo. Do. Do willow. You think I should play a racing game in my new car? That sounds fun. Let's see. What is that one? Ah, I remember. Alright, well time to take the car out for a spin. Buckle up, kiddos. I don't think I'll be singing myself. Yeah, let's... <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Hell, yes, hitting the open road. Nothing can stop me now. Is that the song, Liddy? I can't see it, but I know what that is. We'll have to get that on here in a second. I'm not sure I'm doing too well. I did just get this 
I did just get this car. What is that game? Oh man, it's another car driving game. And like, you get a gun on top of the car. What is it called? Dang it, just put me back on the title screen. There it is, I found it. Road Blasters. Well, let me do a Rad Racer match with Liddy's song. This is awesome, let's... I think Rad Racing with this song actually does improve my playing. I mean, I died again, but... I think I got further that time than I usually get. I need to mute the music in every game and just use this as the music for every single game I play. Is there one of those like 10 hour versions? This is Rad Racer, but is it's got Daytona USA music. Rad Racer 2, actually. I'm like, I keep getting Zelda stuff, or extra lives or something. Those were extra lives. Oh no, this is, the music is coming from a YouTube video that Liddy posted. I mean, it matches because it comes from a racing game. The music comes from Daytona USA. Yeah. But it sure does make playing Rad Racer that much more fun. Oh 
no, it's over. You can just race to the sweet sounds of Dwayne. Playing the hit song, Alex and his haircut. I think I made it. It's fine, I wanted to play Road Blasters anyhow. Top Gear from Super Nintendo? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. I think I probably have it though, should I check it out? Are you talking about the music? Oh wow. I haven't played this version. I'm familiar with the arcade version, but this is just... wow. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is a tension game, too. Press up to go, okay, because I need the buttons for shooting. What up, Chelsea? You know this one? Remember, you gotta get the balls to like get. Oh, damn it. Hey, what's up, Firehawk? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I hope that you are... Oh, that's good news. This game sure does not have any music. Thanks, Dwayne. I gotta run, let's... You're heading out to stream. I hope you have a good one. Hi. You're gonna stay, Firehawk? Come on. I'm almost there. Is that... Did I make it? I think I made it. There's no starting music either or anything. You just go. I like that. Plus, I don't think this is a race. This is more like a battle. Oh, give me hell yeah. Get him. Aw, oh, dang it. Dang it. I gotta get some more fuel. Give you a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, you're quoting me, aren't you? I said that probably. That sounds like something I would say. Like if I was playing the game, I was like, "Give me hell yeah!" After I got it, all the cars. I mean, how do I distinguish the good people from the bad people? This is a public road, I assume. All these games are asking me to make morally ambiguous choices. I was playing that game earlier where I was just destroying all the the people in the buildings. Oh, are <laughs> they all zombies? I see. Thanks, Waffle. That always makes me makes me feel better.
It has. And I am Road Blaster. Blaster of Roads. Ah, uh, it's an oil slick. That's what I hear. There's a car full of zombies driving up ahead. Better get them. Take that. Zombies. Get some of these gas balls on the street that they left behind. Ah, oh, dang it. Blew up. Credits? I don't I don't have a quarter slot on my NES. Oh. Thank goodness, because I'm broke. I mean you know. I don't have quarters to just be shoving into the Nintendo. Believe you me, I think that if Nintendo had figured out how to put a quarter slot on the NES, they could have innovated, like, downloadable, paid downloadable content before anyone else. They could have just, like, sent a guy to come, like, collect the quarters out of the NES. They would have made millions. And you know, the guy could show me like I'm here to to collect your any S the your any quarters your your any S I don't know what they your pay up you downloaded some new Mario three suits and some extra skins for your uh, rad racer cars and different color tunics for for Link. My turbo button is turned up way high. I'm gonna use it. Holy crap. I mean, I'm unstoppable. This is not just life. This feels like a real country drive in the country. Like if I, I don't. I I think that this I, I hereby, proclamate, that this city, belongs to the zombies now. So. 
accept it. Let's see. I think I have enough time for a quick game of something. And I think it's a quick ass game of monster in my pocket. For the Halloween season. Alright. Uh oh, what's that? What could possibly be in those pockets? Could it be? A bunch of monsters? In my pocket? Whoa. Trademark? Patent pending? Oh man, do I want to be a vampire or a Frankenstein's monster? Oh snap. Uh, Frankenstein's monster. Ah, oh, I should have I should have went with Dracula. It's on the old tube. Oh no! Who is this fella? You're not your henchman! Not while we were watching TV! No! Come on, warlock! We will beat you! Yeah! Wow, they're just like the real monsters. Okay, those are definitely zombies and I don't feel bad about killing them. Wait, I thought I select- okay. I picked Frankenstein's monster, right? It shows Frankenstein's monster picture down there. Can I just call him Frankenstein? Fuck it. It shows Frankenstein's picture down there. Like... I'm Dracula. I apologize to any Frankenstein people out there for calling him that. My apologies to Mary Shelley. What's her face? Oh shit, I can pick up the key? You gotta admire this boombox. It is. Isn't it? Why is this... Why is there a scroll lock? Why can't I go back? What is preventing me from going back? Okay, those guys are straight up from Castlevania, and I know it. What is... This music is pretty rocking, though. Rocking. Sort of like a surfy vibe. with the action flavor to it. Ooh, I think I want that.
I like that I've played a lot of games where I've punched, you know, a lot of games are just like, oh, let's give him a gun or a whip. Not enough games just like say, hey, go punch. Oh, ain't that the truth, Smogview? Ain't that not the truth? Wait, did I just do a double jump? Back the heck up. Holy crap, the whole time. The scale of these stairs is pretty awesome. I like that. These are some long ass stairs though. Okay. Are these stairs leading directly to hell? That'd be cool. I do like it that it spawns you right where you die. Four twenty points. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, it's a boss. What this thing doesn't realize is that it's throwing its knives in a predictable pattern. Easy to avoid. And also you can punch the knives. In my opinion, Dracula shouldn't have told that boss to suck it. I think sometimes, you know, when you win, you should just... You know, be humble about it. I want that key. Looks like this is a dead end. I keep forgetting that I can double jump, and that's like hindering me from doing things that I could have been doing. Alright, how do I bite into this cheese? Because that's what I want to do is bite into this big ass block of cheese. Where's the bite button? I just want like a couple nibbles. Nom 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 nom. Okay, good. All this cheese. What's up with all this table cheese just sitting out? Is that something people used to do? There's guests come over and you're like, you hungry? There's some table cheese. Right there on the table. 
It kind of looks like Swiss and also cheddar. Real good stuff. Yeah, the ghosts do look cool. I like those ghosts. This game is pretty generous with the lives and the energy, too. I played the Micro Machines game then. I've always liked the idea of shrinking down, but... I don't like bugs at their normal size. How can I not jump on the top shelf? Oh, I'm frozen. That does sound kind of fun. Racing among cereals? Fantastic, let's do it. I love cereal. Oh, I get to... I can be anybody. I have to go with Joel. Yuck. That's awesome. Let's do it, Joel. Count Chocula? Hell yeah, they put it out every few years still. Joel? Ah, Joel. My Joel. Yes. Oh, I get to choose my... Oh, look at Spider. This guy? What? Yeah, let's take on Spider. Mike, look at Mike. What? Uh, yeah, you're going down. I guess it's between Walter and Dwayne. What about you, Chin? You think you got what it takes to take on Joel? Jethro, what about you? Let's do it, Jethro. You can't even stand up. You been drinking? There's no drinking in the Micro Machines Challenge. The breakfast bins! Here it goes! Hell yes, right away. I was afraid I'd have to like... Okay, hell yeah.
Hey, that's a giant orange. So are the lines, do they matter? Uh, they got second place. Well, at least it wasn't last place. Spider! You son of a bitch. Oh, I see. So they're, they're just more like a guide. I don't have to stay in them. Is this a crime scene? Damn it. Where's Lakitu? Man. We need to put a guardrail up or something. Real people can die. Man. I've already blew this race. It's over. Can you imagine being like lost on this desk? Like, it would be crazy. You think it would be cool, but it might not be. I mean, is it going to make me finish the race? Okay, thank you. Gosh. Like, I had known that I was already lost. Maybe. Yuck, indeed. Aw, don't cry, Joel. Okay, that that's uh dun 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 Smoke on the water. That's right, smart view. Some people think that the rabbit was the hero of the story, but I've I've always believed it to be the turtle.
Wait, I want to read those notes. What does this say? Uh, somebody got in trouble. They had to write... Aw, oh, man. Shouldn't be talking in class, dude. He was. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not doing very well at it, but I gotta say for an NES game, this is like high ass quality. No sarcasm. The parallax scrolling. The mirror scale of everything. I just wanna look at this stuff. Did I lose? Yuck. Uh oh, I only have one more chance. It's really gonna make me play this level till I beat it, huh? Son of a gun. No! Nope, I've already lost. No. They are pretty bad. Yep, every darn time. This third count, or is that basically third? Wait, why did what? Hold on. I'm in third place, but I'm the one who failed. Hold on. No. No. No, 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 no. I'm in... What did I... I was in... I was the only one who failed in third place. I don't understand it. I am so confused. But you know what? That's how life is sometimes, huh? Confusing as heck. I did like playing that, though. I'm glad you brought it up, Smart View, because uh, I think if I revisited it with a another kind of uh, approach, I think I could do a better job. 
It is pretty tough, but for a, for an NES game, I am pretty impressed at those graphics there, for sure. Well, that sound means that it is time to go for the night. But the good news is that I will be back tomorrow with bells on. So I'll definitely be back tomorrow night at 10. But I think that if I play my cards right, I might be able to do some early streaming too. We'll see. I'll definitely be here tomorrow night at 10. When the, uh, when this stream ends, when the stream ends, I'm gonna do one of, the, one of those rating uh, things. I don't do them often because it's kind of hard to... We've had a... It's, been, it's hard to figure out how to click the buttons right before the goodbye man shows up and everything. Y'all know the goodbye man, don't you? Well, but when the goodbye man comes, uh, we're gonna go over to Liddy's stream. They call me Liddy is his name. He is one of the mods here and a friend of the show. And uh, he is playing his favorite game, GeoGuessr, right now. And that's a game where you kind of are placed into a random part of the world. You gotta figure out where you are. So that's what Liddy's doing. And uh, he's a real cool guy. Real friendly. And y'all should hang out with him. I thank you guys for, um, for hanging out with me tonight. He's Alright. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys all for watching. Oh, I love you too, Text Triple Five. Bye bye. I'll see you all tomorrow. I don't know how long the raid thing takes, but the goodbye man's about to show up. Y'all go hang out with Liddy. Tell him I said hello. And don't forget. Goodbye.